Today, I want to show you how you can create a calculation within your pivot table and then how you can conditionally format that calculation. So what I have here as an example is I've listed out some accounts, scrap, wage expense here, and then I've also got it broken down by month and actual and budget. And so what I want to see in this pivot table is how much over or under budget I am for each account for each month. And then I want to put on conditional formatting. I want it to be green if I'm under budget, red if I'm over budget, and I want it to be really dark red if I'm really over budget, or just a light red if I'm slightly over budget, and same thing on the green side. So the first step will be to select one of these fields here, actual or budget, doesn't matter which one. You'll have the pivot table analyze tab here. So go there. And then within this calculations tab, you'll have this fields, items, and set. We want to go to a calculated item here. And so we'll call it variance to budget. And in the formula bar, we'll get rid of the zero. And what I want to see if I'm under budget, I want to see a negative number. If I'm over budget, I want to see a positive number. So I'm going to take actuals and I just double clicked it minus just typed in the minus sign on the keyboard budget, just double clicked budget there and I'll press OK. So now I've got this new item that's been inserted variance to budget and we can see scrap my actuals were 474, my budget was 516. So I ran in under budget, so I see a negative number. So that is making sense. Here we see a positive number. February wages, actuals were almost 1.1 million. Budget was less than that. So I'm over budget with a positive number. So looks like it's working the way I expected or wanted it to. I'm going to select the variance to budget columns and there's more, but I'll just select the ones here, continue to select them, then go to the home tab, conditional formatting. We'll go to color scales and then more rules. And so the lowest value as we just kind of walked through, the lowest values, the negative numbers, are where we are under budget. And that's typically a good thing, so we're going to give that a green bar. The highest values are where we're running un over budget. That's typically a bad thing, so we're going to give it a red gradient. We'll press OK, and now this is immediately pointing out that, hey, in May, your wages were way over budget. That's clearly the darkest red item that we see on the screen. It's a quick, easy way to add a calculation to your pivot table and then make it visually clear you know, the good things and the challenges.